everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a bit of an art challenge and I am quite excited about this. So as you can see, I'm actually starting off the sketch digitally and I feel like that doesn't really count because regardless, uh, I would have had the same end result. It was just more convenient for me at the time to sketch digitally. But anyways, so I was wondering what we are doing for this video. Now, um, I'm actually doing a bit of an art challenge using some cheap colored pencils. Now I'll show you the colored pencils in a minute, but I just want to start to talk about what I'm actually drawing for this artwork. So as you can probably see if you know what it is, I'm actually drawing some Kingdom Hearts fan art. Now this game has been constantly on my mind for the last few weeks, mainly because Kingdom Hearts 3 came out and also I've been watching other sort of streamers play it as well. Now, personally, I still have not gotten around to playing number three yet. However, I have been playing through Kingdom Hearts 2 and I'm almost finished that. So once I actually finish that, I am going to get into three and I am so excited. So what are we drawing today? We are drawing a lovely portrait of Sora and Roxas, who are two characters in this video game. And I have to say, these characters' outfits are painfully detailed. They are so detailed compared to what I normally draw and this actual sketch took me about four hours to do. It was a bit crazy um, but I really really do love the results of uh, this sketch here and I'm so glad that I did the sketch digital because it would have been a nightmare to do this traditionally especially since um, it was just more convenient for me at the time to do digital and also I was able to uh, sketch and erase and all of that stuff. However, I think that um, that's not technically cheating because this is like a pencil challenge because I'm using these pencils here to color in the artwork. Now, what are these pencils here? They're just uh, basically cheap colored pencils that I got from my local Kmart. Now, these pencils are actually meant for children, I believe, because it was in the sort of kid craft aisle. And uh, yeah, these pencils were $2. And for 36, I think it is, colors, that's pretty good. But I did not have high expectations for the colors of these because of the price. Now to get a good idea of what I was working with, I decided to swatch these pencils out. Mainly so I could test the colors uh, because sometimes the colors appear different on the pencils than they do on the paper. And also to test the pigment in it and uh, how they worked on the paper. Now the paper I'm using today is just a Reeves brand uh, mixed media paper. This is actually a bit of an affordable brand paper. It's not as, as expensive as Strathmore or anything. So I'm pretty happy with the paper that I'm using today. Now I am quite a bit surprised by the quality of these pencils. Now they're definitely nothing compared to my lovely Prismacolor Premier pencils that I use. Uh, those are definitely in a different league. Um, however, I still think that these are pretty nice. Now, nice for a cheap $2 art supply, if that makes sense. So obviously to ink this piece, I'm actually using the pencil itself because I want to have this end product completely drawn with these pencils and nothing but, uh, minus the sketch of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, I basically just took the black colored pencil out and I sharpened it with my new uh, sort of rotary pencil sharpener. It's the one that you sort of wind up. Um, I really love that pencil sharpener because you can get such a finer like point on the pencil and this was very very important for the line art. Now with this line art I wanted to keep the pencil as sharp as possible so that I could get some nice thin clean lines. Now um, these pencils are actually quite hard uh, compared to my Prismacolor Premier pencils but that actually uh, worked to my advantage when using uh, this for the line art because well obviously the pencil didn't break as much also it just sort of stayed a little bit sharper than um, softer colored pencil so this was really good when I wanted to get nice thin bold lines for the line art 
Now to ink this piece, now I should probably say line this piece because I'm not using ink, but yeah, to do that I'm actually using my light box uh, and I'm basically just tracing the digital sketch onto some new paper. Now I do this a lot with all of my art because it just makes it, I don't know, it, it's a lot nicer to do that than to sketch directly on the paper and I feel that I end up getting better results so that's why I just do it that way. Now just for convenience I decided not to film the inking of Roxas on the other side and that was just because I basically did the exact same thing I did with the Sora side and I didn't want to film too much because I would have way too much footage and this video would be super duper long. So anyways, back to uh, the colouring now, finally. <laughs> um, I started off with the skin tone and I basically took this uh, sort of orangey pinkish colour. I don't know what it's called because these pencils don't have names or numbers or anything on them. So I'm just going to try and describe them if that makes sense. And yeah, for the skin, I basically layered a base coat of that colour over the whole skin. And um, yeah, I just tried to keep the coloring very, very light and uh, I didn't want to push too hard. I basically kept the colored pencils very, very sharp and then I just colored in with very small circular motions to try and get the color down but not press hard where I would wreck the tooth of the paper. After that, I layered on a bit of yellow into the highlight color and then I used a bit of brown in the shadows for Sora's skin. After this I moved on to the hair and I used a few different browns and a little bit of black uh, just to shade his hair. Now with this I'm doing lots and lots of different layers of different colours because I want to try and build up the opacity and the saturation of the colours. After this it was just the process of filling in each colour of each part of his outfit in the correct colours. Now obviously um, I did have to do a lot of layers with these pencils and that's why I decided not to push very hard because um, if you push really hard you, you kind of can't layer if that makes sense. For each section of colour I basically used three or four different colours in that and um, I basically just laid them over the top of each other and I tried to add lots of shadows to the piece to add a little bit more dimension if that makes sense. I really didn't want to use flat colors for this because well the colors aren't the best in these cheap pencils so I had to try and uh, make do with what I had and try to make it look as good as I could. Now for the sort of armory metal parts on Sora's shoulders I basically used a bit of black, a bit of grey and also a little bit of blue in the highlight just to try and give it that metallic look. And I think it turned out pretty good. Now I have to say filling in all of these tiny separate uh, little fields of colour in all of these details did prove to be quite uh, time consuming actually. Um, this was actually this actually took a lot longer than it would have if I used Copics, um, but I actually kind of really like the results of how it looks. So now we are moving on to Roxas. Now for Roxas I did a few things a bit differently because he has a few different sort of colours compared to Sora. Um, for the shadows I didn't use a brown, I actually went for a sort of reddish pink colour and this was because I thought that a sort of more pink uh, skin tone would look better with his hair. Now for his hair I actually used quite a few different colours. I used a light yellow, a sort of more darker yellow, I also used a little bit of white and uh, a few different browns actually just for the shadows. Now I tried to add a little bit of texture to his hair with a few different strokes of brown just to try and show that it was definitely hair. After this it was moving on to his pants. Now Roxas's outfit is actually quite a bit uh, different to Sora's as you can see. There are some similarities however um, his outfit is more predominantly white whereas Sora's is more predominantly black. And this worked to my advantage a bit because um, I could sort of get in the colours a bit quicker and I didn't have to fill in so much uh, dark colours. For the grey areas of Roxas, um, I basically only had two pencils that I could work with and that was a grey and a black. Obviously with cheaper coloured pencils you don't really have a lot of options with colour. This pack actually has quite a lot of colours, however um, not that much for 
grey tones, if that makes sense. But that was okay because I basically used that grey and that black and sort of shaded in areas uh, where I needed it nice and dark. And then I just did very, very sort of light layers over the parts where I needed a very light grey. And this turned out alright. It does give quite a bit of texture to his pants. But you know what? I'm actually not hating that. Now after I got most of the colours down I actually had to go back into the line art with that black pencil which by now was starting to look a lot smaller than the rest of the pencils because I had to sharpen it so much. But yeah I just went back into that line art to sort of darken it quite a bit and make it a little bit more prominent because colouring over it with the pencils sort of did, uh, did make it a little bit more subtle. So here are the final results and I'm actually really, really, really liking this artwork. Um, I am very, very surprised by these $2 colored pencils and I guess this video kind of shows that, uh, you know, if you're a good artist, you can make do with what you've got. It is not the art supplier that makes the artist, it's the talent of the artist, if that makes any sense at all. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.